from the boat tank to the engine. Oh, oh wow. See that? Look at that, you guys. Hey, what's up you guys it's your girl Maisha Renee aka Glitter and Gills and I'm out here today doing something really cool really special um want to include you guys on this I have been kind of keeping it to myself because just was waiting for the weather and everything to go down but um it is a little calm not spring yet but um on New Year's Eve while everybody was out partying and getting ready me and hubby were on the road taking an eight hour drive to almost San Diego and in the rain you guys in the storm and this is what we went to go pick up you guys got down somebody that was giving us a really great deal that we could not pass up and we just we went for it you guys and so we wanted to start off 2023 on the water with you guys giving you guys some new content something new and just a new um just a new journey for us super excited we've always wanted to get a boat um you know we're bank fishers we bank robbers till we die but definitely wanted to um be able to experience the other side of the delta clear lake all these places that we love to go and want to take you guys lost up you guys this is gonna be so cool though go with it so got us a little little boat y'all tracker um we're on our way right now to get ready to take it um to a boat shop so we can get it inspected because y'all tell everything because i am a newbie we are really new at this but i mean it's actually in pretty good shape you guys it's not a new boat by far at all but we are going to do some things to it and right now we're just on our way to the boat shop when we looked inside the motor was like i forgot how we open this Chris looks really good you guys from my eyes from what me and my husband are looking at that looks pretty good it ain't no 250 and nothing like that but it's gonna get us out there we gotta learn how to drive it because we don't know how to drive it <laughs> we gotta do all this stuff you guys this is gonna be so cool though there's the girl mermeezy what is it the what is it that that's not um marking on the dash the fuel gauges the fuel gauges um yeah the speedometer and the fuel gauge we gotta fix it that's fine um, this was a little chewed up at first so hubby went in kind of like touch it up with a little paint and stuff like that so we'll see how that do if it um we find out that this, the heat and everything is not our friend with our touch-up then we'll replace that as well i mean things like that we don't mind doing and we love we love diying so this is like a fun project for us you guys we're on our way to the shop and we'll let you know what they say all right So we're in the car, we on our way right now. She back there. Super excited, y'all. Going. Oh my gosh. Tell me how much money they want from me. I really feel like, you know, God has blessed us with this. I don't think we got to put a lot of money into it. So I'm really excited. Just wanna know. Like I've never been so excited to fix something or <laughs> well yes I have because I like doing stuff like this, but I'm driving it right now, y'all. I'm pulling it. I am not into the backing up yet, but we're gonna find like um, open parking lots and practice like backing them up, backing up. I mean, we do the kayak. This is a much larger vessel. The destination is on your right, 1302 West Fremont Street. Arrived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll stop right here. Damn. <laughs> we hear y'all. Okay, so we're gonna see what they're gonna say. I'm gonna keep y'all in the loop, all right? So the ride was not bad. It was pretty much just like when um I ride the kayak. So that part was not bad at all driving it. Um you can't feel you can't tell that it's definitely that it's heavier. And so um that part, the element of it, but that's fine. What I do like about it and what I am real that makes me really comfortable about driving it around is that I can see it with the kayak you can't see it and so it was always kind of like you know is it back there is it good you know because the Jeep or our other truck was so big so with this 
you can see it and I don't know I just like looking at it <laughs> I'm so excited so um let's see is this our spot okay they're telling us to let's see yeah okay all right y'all let me move up I'll just keep y'all on a little bit from my window down so I can hear There's a lot of boat shops here, you guys, so we're trying to find the right... Spark plugs, engine oil, uh, fuel filters on the motor, and then drop down the lower and service it. Water pump and color and gear loop. You said it's grease. You can see the court. You can see where it sat for a long time. The grease dumped out. See it? Oh, it just drizzled yeah. down. Yeah. So that got right. hot enough that it, and it also discolored your chrome inner core here, which is just a cap, but it's enough that if you look at the other side, it's bright and shiny, or like this one, the bearing grease. These are crap. Trash batteries. They're last. So that's the stuff you buy like right that battery bar. Problem. So, you, so show everybody what you did again, you guys. Exactly. I wonder why your speedometer doesn't work. I don't know speedometer. It'll that's sit like that. That's, that's a, a quick fix, guys. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Seal these screws so you make it water. So you're going to have to pull the screws out. Okay. Put them back in there so they seal them. So you don't get any water. Uh, so you don't get any water. And then you seal this one. So this came from our from the boat, you guys. He's getting us together, and look what we found. Tell us about it. Ethanol fuel, California. Uh, the ethanol eats up the internal layer wow. of the fuel hose, which comes out and plugs up all the filters and hoses. And so all that stuff in here is all that is out of the your hose. Let me show you. They're getting it together for us, you guys. So. I thought it'd be pretty cool to share some of that yucky pickle jar looking stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure somebody will like find this pretty cool. Look, you guys, they ain't here getting those motors together. Look at this one. <laughs> so look, you guys, he's going to get it open so he can show us everything that was coming out of that hose. And what hose was this again? This is the fuel hose to the engine. From the boat tank to the engine. Oh, oh wow. See that? Look at that, you guys. That's what happens. And so that was coming out. So in this, if you don't get this serviced or you don't check on that, what happens? Uh, you're more than likely won't have enough fuel flow to the engine and your boat will only go half speed or so. Oh wow! You so, how how often should you check those? Like, because this is boat, of course, has had a lot of time on it, but not so many hours. Surprisingly, so. Is do your fluids and filters every year? Okay. Every other year, bring it in and get a full service done, which entails checking all this stuff every other year. Yeah. Oh, uh, and what's your name? Garland. Garland, you guys. He's gonna hook us up. Go ahead, and try and get them big old PVs. Uh, Clean me out. <laughs> That looked crazy. That jar like some old pickles. 
Oh, no, there was two. There was two, two spacers? Uh-huh. There was oh, two, two knees spaces. on there. Oh, yeah, so it's only supposed to be one. Two spacers on the prop, you guys, yeah, so we got to get that down. But look at all that fishing line, all that uh, braid on there, you guys. Mm -hmm. That's something you need to learn to take the prop off every now and again and check. Yeah. And what happens is it gets under the seal and then you get water. Can I record you? Can I record you? Now we got to pull this off, pull that line out, put a pressure check on it, make sure the seal don't leak. Oh, wow. Oh, look, you guys, there it go. On that braid on there. Uh, you got a, you got a, oh, you got a line cutter seal on there, so hopefully it caught it. Uh -huh. That line seal, see how it's got a sharp edge in there? Oh, it actually cuts the cut the line. It's made line. to do it. But with that much packed on there, something might have got in it. Oh wow, you guys, look at that. Hey, no, that That's good. why you don't let the bass run to the back of the boat, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> does that always make sure the motor's off? Yeah, make sure the motor's off. Does that, does that you know how this happens? This happens from the idiots that go out there and go fishing, okay. uh -huh. fuck their reels up and get all pumped up with line, and then they cut it and they throw it And they the just throw it. Right. And then you come home fishing and it gets stuck on and your it gets And I always tell you guys, most time on keep your line. You guys, you know, I'm always telling y'all, throw away your line. It's nothing to carry a little garbage bag. Take your trash, you guys. Yeah. Great. If it gets you too thick, huh? This yeah. floor unit and that type of seal, you're more likely to get it. Let's call again. Find a lot of little things, you guys, but actually good things and getting us together. What's your, what's your name? My name's Tracy. It's Tracy, guys. Tracy getting us together. I'm a motorcycle mechanic, boat mechanic. I work on printing equipment, farm mag equipment. So Tracy's the man. <laughs> you should be the man. I'm too old now. Oh, don't stop, Tracy. <laughs> All right, you guys. So they took the prop off because the space, they had two spacers on there. Which was not needed. There's a lot of little things that you could tell DIYs people were doing by themselves, trying to get it together. But I'm just so thankful right now that it's not too many problems. Tracy's getting all that thread off. That should be it. Hey, for you guys already got boats. Make sure y'all check it. I know we get so caught in just getting out there having the fun, but look, make sure you check your prop. Cause that was a lot on that one. 